Good morning. It's, it's so wonderful uh, to be here with all of you celebrating 50 years of Microsoft. More than 150 million developers in nearly every country around the world are using GitHub. So I thought to myself, what if I could take that power and rebuild Microsoft's very first product? And so I tried it. Take a look. I guess what do I have? I'll use code spaces and GitHub Copilot. Create an emulator. Give me the plan. All right, let's see what it says. Created the templates. Here is the app. It works. I guess it didn't take us six weeks. I'm excited to share that the capability I just showed with agent mode is rolling out to all VS Code users starting today. And today, we're going further. We now have a new agent framework for building multi-agent systems. Uh, but building agents is just the very beginning. We're also building tools for all the evals, fine-tuning, observability, and feedback. So the question I wanted to address today is really simple. What does all this mean? Thank you for your protest, I hear you. I, I hear your protest, thank you. I hear you, thank you. Thank you. I hear your protest, thank you. Okay, so let me get back to the question that I'm trying to address today. What is an AI companion? Where do I begin? Don't worry, I got you. I'd recommend picking a theme first. Copilot just cuts right through the chaos and gets to the heart of what you need. It's grounded in web links, so you can always reliably look things up whenever you want. Bang, dinosaurs. Okay, excellent theme. That's a good start. Hey, Copilot. For tomorrow's commute, can you put together a 15-minute podcast with some dinosaur facts that I can remember so I can show up like one of those cool uncles at the birthday party? You got it, Mustafa. I'll get that ready for you right away. Nice. Okay, let's have a listen. Good morning. Welcome to your personal podcast about dinosaurs. Here are some cool facts for your nephew's birthday party. What about the name Velociraptor? It means speedy thief. Kids will love that one. Oh, nice. What about the dinosaur with the longest name, Micropachycephalosaurus? Might be hard to remember. The Quetzalcoatlus was the size of a plane. You wouldn't want one of those swooping down for your ice cream. <laughs> love it. Meet my personalized dino professors. Now I need to start buying decorations, get the party gear in, and most importantly of all, I need a present. As you can see, Copilot searches through our real-time catalog of trusted merchants to find just the right item. Now you can actually purchase in-app from some of the world's biggest and most trusted retailers. And with our new mobile app, Copilot can actually see what you see and talk to you about it in real time. So of course, I can use it to settle the really important questions in life. Hey, Copilot, could you help me group these by, say, era? Looks like you're working with some dinosaurs. Most of these are from the Mesozoic era, which is divided into three periods, Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous. So this is how Copilot Deep Research really works. I go to Copilot, I select Deep Research, and I give it a topic. I'm planning a trip to Japan, and I'd love to learn more about the history and culture of matcha. Help me create a travel plan based on that. Cool, so now Copilot will ask me some clarifying questions We'll go back and forth and agree on a plan. Then, it'll spend some time browsing and analyzing sources. I really love that I can see exactly how Copilot is working hard to research the topics that I'm curious about. I get a beautiful, data-rich report with graphics, tables, and insights that would have taken me days to gather and fact check. Help me find an apartment close to the main Microsoft office in Redmond. Copilot does all the work I needed to do in the background, searching the web for apartments and finding me nearby storage. This is amazing. I can even have Copilot fill out that tedious form for me now. 
perfect. Just got a nudge from Copilot that the apartment tour is booked. Another product feature we're about to roll out is called Copilot Pages. I live in the Seattle, Washington area and I need to write a letter to my landlord to adjust the terms of the lease. What's the best way to do this to make sure it sounds right? Then I can easily move Copilot's response into a page and from there I can refine it with my own ideas and style. So now I can upload a file directly to Pages and combine the contents of my document with Copilot's response. And then I have the freedom to edit and organize however I want. Copilot Pages enables me to write and refine my thoughts in one dedicated place. What's really neat about Copilot Vision on Windows is that Copilot can understand beyond just what I say. With my permission, it can see my screen like a second set of eyes. It's my sounding board. And most importantly, it can respond in the context of what I'm seeing on my screen. Copilot, I need to edit this photo. I want to sell this chair and I need it to look good. How do I change the saturation? Don't worry, I got you, Dina. Just create a new adjustment layer down here and you can change the saturation with this slider here. Thanks, Copilot. That looks really good. We're bringing state-of-the-art reasoning and problem-solving to our M365 Copilot with the launch of researcher and analyst agents. And now in Copilot Studio, you can create your own custom agents with these very same reasoning capabilities designed to your specification. Working on your company data, you can apply your agents to entirely new ways like better forecasting demand across global markets or optimizing supply chains. All the experiences that you've seen now are available today or over the next couple of weeks, so give them a go and try for yourself. Ultimately, I think there is gonna be as many co-pilots as there are people using them. And so today we're taking the very first steps towards rich memory and, and personalization. You'll never need to start over with your personal co-pilot. You can always work from a place of deep understanding based on what you choose to share a beautiful graphical representation that shows everything that Copilot knows about you. You can view and remove any of those memories at any time. You're always in control. So what if Copilot had an appearance and you could shape and form it to be whatever you want? Hey, Copilot. Hey, Mustafa. Oh, uh, wow. This is a lot of people. <laughs> I suddenly feel very underdressed. H hold on, let me just... Oh, yes. This is much better. What's up? Well, I was hoping that you could give everybody a little bit of a glimpse into what we're working on with your appearance and your expressions. Oh, of course. I'd love to. Well, I can transform into anything you want, to something more minimal and abstract. Pretty cool. Okay. Or something inventive, like this. Neat. All right. But I think what I like most is just being able to interact with you in a more fun and familiar way. Was that helpful? Sure, that was great. Perfect. Thank you, Copilot. So do you want it to reflect your love of gardening, say? Or maybe your taste in music? How about something a little calming? Or maybe something comforting? Or do you have a favorite video game character, for example, like Spyro? Or perhaps some people in this audience might want something a little nostalgic. <laughs> Woo! Search, actions, memory, personalization. Your co-pilot completely adapted to you. Today, we're creating a co-pilot for everyone. Thank you for being on this amazing journey with us. Thank you, everyone.